So you're parking, I think it's called Heart Up Car Park. It used to be a playground apparently, according to some old people who were on their Google reviews, whatever. So yeah, park right there. Down the path, so that's literally as you get into the car park over the bridge. Dump it, I don't think they charge. I didn't check. I should check, let's have a look. <laughs> don't know. I can't see any signs, there's no blue peas. Which usually signifies pay and display. There's none of that, I can't see any posters, I can't see any pieces of paper or stickers on anyone else's car. So let's go with free parking, cool. Now looking at the map, there should literally be a two second walk. And I think I can see the water already. And it, this path takes you to the kind of quieter end of the lake too, which means I'm slightly out of the way to set up and we won't get questioned by the pleasure boat guy. Pedal boats, pedalos, you know, he was in the last episode. So there's the water. Also got some hammock opportunities just here. So this is ridiculously good. And there's a railway right there. Avenue. Oh, this is ridiculous. Perfect. This is insane. It takes you straight to the water. And the water is straight onto the bank. There's no, no steps, no walls. It's a nice easy in. I'll just crack straight on with it. That was less than a minute's walk. Straight in. We've literally just walked from there. It's ridiculous. So yeah, man, this is the lake to come to. And off we go. Super, super, super nice place to set up. No trouble, no questions. Let's go for it. It started pissing it down as soon as I got into the water. <laughs> Shit. As long as it doesn't fucking, I don't know, probably grounded. Is, is rubber on water good? I don't know. Right, found a genuine dry spot to hide <laughs> whilst the rain passes and it's like right under these trees, man, it's sick. So, so you go, genuinely dry as a bone. It's pissing down out there. So I'll wait it out. You know what? This might be the best place to do this in the West Midlands. It's not the biggest. It's definitely not the smallest, but wow, the parking free right next to the water entry. There's genuine birds of interest here. Um, trees to hide in if it rains. I don't know. Yeah, there's a bistro around the corner with drinks and food. Um, it's super quiet. And yeah, perfect, mate. Absolutely perfect. So we're going to check what the sides are like over there. But this is sick. Um, yeah, glad I came out. Happy bank holiday, everyone. Happy bank holiday. Right, truth be told, bad weather kayaking is absolutely brilliant. I don't know if I prefer it, but it doesn't feel like uh, it's put a dampener on things, obviously. But shit, yeah, good bank holiday this. I don't think this could be flipped. It's the, also the first time I've kind of paddled this without a massive bag on the front, so the weight's really different, but it feels fine. I'm like, what, 11 stone or something, so surely it can't be flipping on my watch, but it is windy, so we'll see what happens. I can feel a little bit of the wind. Weird, but well, I'm sure it's just something else we'll get used to. Brill. Okay, we're using a croc as a camera tripod, and even that's working out okay. So yeah, welcome to, again, I, I'm struggling to upload any of these videos on actual time. I've got them all chilling in the um, in the upload section, but I haven't gone live with any of them. So yeah, I've already done a video on Sutton Park. You'll see it. I'm going to upload it. But there's me and Pippin doing a recce, seeing which uh, which lake is the easiest to get into and which one's best at Sutton Park. And yeah, Black Root Pool Pool is definitely the one. Uh, absolutely brilliant. So yeah. I'm just here now, it's Bank Holiday Monday, uh, the 29th of August, 2022, and it's absolutely chilling. Um, glad I got this done. The weather's not particularly brilliant, but I think that's a good thing. Sorry, I'm, my leg moves back. But there you go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get some footage, show you some of the banks and the cool places you can park up and chill. Please do excuse the crock. I have nothing else 
to put the camera on. <laughs> so that's the spare croc. And I've got to say, man, it's a bit off, off the story here, but if you are seeking out some comfortable footwear that you can throw on in rain or shine, in the winter, in the sun, um, yeah, these lined crocs, off, but they're fake crocs anyway, but they're off Amazon and they're bloody brilliant, mate. Those straps on the back, I used to look at people wearing crocs and think they were insane. But actually, those straps truly are all the support you need from a shoe to stop it bloody flying off, which is incredible. So yeah, if you didn't see it in the last episode, these uh, Pedalo Pleasure Boats are for hire throughout the summer holidays, which, you know, is quickly drawing to a close. So I imagine they'll be gone by the end of September. But i um, not sure on the prices, but we'll have a look in a minute. But people are using them. They're uh, popular enough, all in. So, cool, things are happening on the water. Lovely, lovely. Not this cool little memorial fishing spot for uh, Frankie Bar there. And we've got a bit of a race going on between these <laughs> holiday makers. So it sounds like you get half an hour when you, uh, you hire these things. I still haven't seen the prices. I think it's £15. Could be more. We'll confirm, don't worry about it. But my recommendation is to spend around £50 on one of these and have unlimited rides. Am I right? The sun's coming out and I think it's going to stay for a bit. Fucking beautiful, mate. And again, water seemingly clean and weirdly warm. There you go, man. What a fucking place. Big fan. Big, big fan. Yeah, 2022, man. What is the year? Every I figured it all out. I figured it out, guys. Where else should you be? I mean, I did Christmas in Sutton Park too. And we're celebrating the end of the uh, the summer bank holiday. One of the worst angles he's got so far. Sorry about the cargo net, but at least you're secure. Well, I've got to say, when the sun does disappear, it gets quite choppy. And I don't think the boat's felt particularly unstable, but I reckon this could get blown over, actually. <laughs> I don't know what. These are probably fucking five mile an hour breezes and nothing. But it does feel a bit tetchy when it happens, and it just feels safer to get the wind behind you or directly in front avoid hit, get it hit the sides and that's that isn't it and i guess that's how it works um on all boats maybe i don't know not a pirate right the weather's turned again look at this <laughs> literally two seconds ago the sun was a warm in me straight away the winds pick back up and the clouds are here so i think i'm going to keep it short and sweet and say that's that for today and uh get away while we're ahead while you're looking into my shoe so there you go thanks for joining um sorry you can't see anything again i don't have my bag so i haven't got the best place to put my phone today um i know if, if anyone is wondering about the footage and how it's done it's literally an iphone 6. Good. <laughs> How does he breathe? Oh, he's got a nose. 10 out of 10. <laughs> well, I guess that's our lot. Even the, uh, the pleasure boat guy just parked his boat in the middle of the lake to stop the pesky bastards nicking him overnight. Just to show you, it really is as easy as that to get out there's a little brick there to put your foot around so you can keep yourself anchored whilst you kind of just sit up and get out and that's your luck mate bloody glorious and the water's weirdly warm man it's so good <laughs> nice 
So yeah, this is the Intex K1 Challenger. Just so you know, go and get one. They're on Amazon, they're on eBay, they're on Gumtree. Pick them up as cheap as you can, worth it. <laughs> These wild Labradors. <laughs> cool. I will get the full uh, thing of packing it up and packing it down. But this is the gist of it. It's just deflate everything, pack it away, and somehow it fits in the bag. If you believe hard enough. Job's a good one. I wasn't in a particular rush there. So, I'll just uh, pull the times up on the videos and just let you know how long that took, which was. There you go. So, uh, yeah. Super, super easy to do. Back to the car park, which is just that way. So, uh, Let's crack on with that then, job's a good one. So that's it, it's a one-handed carry. I think it's 12 kilos, which is what, a stage weight? So it's not too bad. It's quite well spread as well, so it doesn't bash off you. So that's it. Um, we might as well record this walk in real time because it's genuinely a joke how close you can get. shit so this guy is running away no he's, he's just walking away um yeah that was a weird conversation that just happened so are you ready i'm just gonna flip the camera around for fuck's sake sutton coldfield what's wrong right so essentially that guy in the mirror just is i've just got in the van he's you know he was here, here eyeing me from over there a little bit but he was just walking so i thought he was going to pass and then no he came up to the window ah oh, do, do i know where i'm going not really, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so yeah, he's come up to the window and uh, yeah, we've dropped it down. Actually, I've opened the door, you know, I'm just getting in anyway. So he's like, oh, I see you, uh, I've seen all your stickers on your van. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. And so basically there's, uh, there's a few, uh, what was it called? Kind of Norse symbols on my van. Stickers, whatever. So there's a bit of everything going on. It's mostly Lord of the Rings focused, to be honest. But this guy's, uh, he's gone for it on those sim symbols. He's like, I see, you, I see you're into it. I run, um, I'm part of an Odinist temple based in Newark. And he's told me the website. I've tried to uh, to Google it on my phone, but he's not having it. Because I've made the best crap for you know. Oh no, he said it was .co.uk. Odinisttemple.co.uk. It wasn't, it wasn't working. So, you know, he's tried to do it on his phone and he's brought up Safari. And for fuck's sake, he literally said, um, Oh, there's probably no, no me, there's probably going to be porn on my phone, and he's opened it, and yeah, it's you porn. Um, and it's German gangbang, I think he was watching. <laughs> he's like, don't mind that, man, I'm just a single bloke, you know it is. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever, whatever. So then, yeah, he did carry on the conversation as if that never happened, so I guess that's Parliament. And then um, he's just starts telling me he's actually Odin his temple.uk. Oh my god, he's in front of me. Let's slow this down. He is running now. So he joined the Odinist Temple a year ago. Okay, he's done a right, I'm, he's done a left, I'm doing a right. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get out that way. <laughs> I have to go left. So yeah, man. Um, oh, for God's sake, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go past him again. All right, anyway. Anyway. So yeah, he's showing me all the website and then he's going through the website with me after we're not on the porn page anymore. And then, uh, here he is. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then he's like telling me all about the Odinist Temple. He's going on the website and it's all like cartoon versions, like fantasy versions of, uh, it's basically like Gandalf. He's like the, the man of wisdom or whatever, Odin. So this just look like Gandalf because they do go to schools and stuff and you know, have tours. The schools come on tour around their place in Newark, so it's got to be watered down to a point and not extremist or violent. So then he's got a picture of Frigg, looking sexy, may he add, um, which is bizarre, but it's fine. And then, you know, looking at her rune casket or whatever. And he's like, yeah, but basically we're just doing that. She comes down and he went through the dates of like the next few things they've got coming up, which is like um, Harvest Festival. There was Yule coming up. There was all kinds of things you could come up to. 
blah 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 and I should, I, I should tell my missus all about it and she might be into it and that's fine and then yeah and then he got even more weird because then he's saying so I can tell looking at your band man it's, it's really cool it tells a story I'm like yes and then um yeah because obviously I mean I don't you haven't seen my, like a full tour of my band but it's very Lords of the Rings kind of themed it's a bit of a shire theme going on on the windowsill there's fake grass in the front there's stuff there's I'm taking the hobbits to Isengard sticker on the back there's a few things there's literally a Cornwall flag a Scottish flag I've seen the um Stonehenge stones flag there's a two in the pink one in the stink symbol and there's a Petroof paddocks camper van site sticker so I don't know if he was talking about the uh the Cornwall sticker, but the Kernow one, you know, the black and the white cross black background one. Um, but he's like, and I've seen all the stickers on your window, and as far as I could tell, that's as close as you can get to a white supremacy sticker. And like, he was chuffed about it, and I'm like, hey, so really, my day, my lovely day in the sunset, almost in all kinds of weathers, just going around on a, one of the loveliest lakes in Birmingham, has unfortunately ended with me being attempted to be initiated by a white supremacist. Uh, German porn watching um, Gandalf fan. Which, you know, is that Sutton Coldfield? Is this the royal town? Is this what we've been missing out on? Because I'm going back to Erdington where the crackheads are definitely easier to just kind of fucking figure out. Ah, uh, whatever. Thanks for joining me. That was a little spin off there. I'm and just as a disclaimer, can I say I am not a white supremacist. I am not joining a religion based around Odin and all of that stuff because apparently you want to start a religion, you may as well. If you like that stuff, you may as well start a religion. It's a charity also, and no, I won't be joining it or helping out. So uh, that's it. I didn't agree to any of it. I just wanted to go home and grab a can. So that's what's happening now. Thanks for joining me. See you in the next one.